Welcome to the JTV News Update. I am Sean Rose. Police have confirmed the sudden deaths of two males on Sunday. In the first sudden death, police responded to a report around 10 a.m. that a cruise passenger of the Norwegian Gem was unresponsive at the bats. The deceased, Anthony Martinez, 66, of New Jersey, USA, was reported to have completed a morning tour of the bats with his wife and a swim when he complained of breathing problems. He later collapsed and subsequent efforts to revive him were unsuccessful. In the second sudden death, police retrieved the body of a male seen floating near Salt Island around 3.15 p.m. following a report received via the police marine base. No marks of violence were seen on the body according to the police information office. A boat believed to be that of the deceased anchored some 1,500 feet away from the body was also retrieved. No one was on board at the time. Police are awaiting notification of the next of kin before releasing the name of the deceased. Police confirmed early Monday that an attempted robbery took place outside First Caribbean Bank around midnight Sunday, February 15, and gunshots were exchanged in the incident by a police officer and the suspect. Police say the suspect fled the scene and no injuries were sustained by the police officer. But police also say People's Hospital personnel reported that a male was admitted for treatment with gunshot wounds. Investigations are ongoing, according to the Police Information Office, to establish whether the two reports are connected. Persons with information are encouraged to contact the RVIPF through its access number 311 or the RVIPF Intelligence Unit at 468-9339. Police cordoned off one of the parking lots adjacent to First Caribbean Bank up to early Monday morning as they continue to carry out investigations into the incident. Meanwhile, on February 13, the RVIPF announced that Commissioner of Police in the Royal Cayman Islands Police Force, David Baines, has replaced the BVI's Commissioner of Police, David Morris, as Gold Commander of Operation Lucan, effective February 11, 2015. Baines was appointed Gold Commander of the independent team investigating allegations of corruption by officers in the RVIPF. Baines is tasked with ensuring there is no conflict of interest and that the integrity of the investigation is maintained. The Financial Services Institute at HLSCC says it will be offering the ACCA Foundations in Accountancy FIA program as part of its expanding portfolio of professional qualifications aimed at the financial services industry. The course offers instructional support for the FIA Certificate or Introductory Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting, FA1 and MA1 papers, and commences on Thursday, February 26. The program is rewarding to persons planning a professional career in accounting, finance and management or those wanting a base knowledge in accounting. There are no prerequisites required to pursue this qualification. Virgin Gorda is preparing to celebrate its 48th annual Easter festival under the theme Remembering Our Cultural Past and Everything in Between for Virgin Gorda Easter Festival 2015, submitted by Trevor Grant. Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill has been chosen as the honoree for this year's event. He has been a stalwart in the Virgin Islands community and has contributed to the development of these islands through politics, education and outstanding leadership. According to Sasha Flax, chairperson of the Virgin Goddard Easter Festival Committee, the committee selected O'Neill due to his undying support for the Virgin Goddard community. His evident commitment and support to Virgin Goddard Festival throughout the life of the annual celebration has placed him at the top of the list of honorees, the committee says. Tarika Tinkerbell Moses made her long-awaited 800-meter debut in grand style on Friday at the David Hemery Valentine Invitational in Boston and established a British Virgin Islands national indoor record in the process. The 2013 Carifta Games under-17 girls 400 silver medalist, who was sidelined by injury last year, became the third best performer all time but the fastest debutant when she stopped the clock at 2 minutes 12.46 seconds competing against collisions. She became the first athlete to book her ticket to St. Kitts for the 44th Carifta Games over the Easter weekend. For the JTV News Update, I am Sean Rose.